and welcome to Seven Days to Die. I'm Wicked Oroz, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be looking at mods from the Oak Raven Forest Collection. The first mod that I have on my list is the Chicken Coop mod. And here, as you can see, I'm holding a chick, and you'll be helping us demonstrate how the coops actually work. So you can see there's two variations here, but there is in fact three. There are a few steps to produce what the coop does produce, feathers, eggs, and chickens. The chickens you can use to harvest or you can use them as pets, as seen here. Those are the pets. This check, you can find them in the nest in the world and you need two of them to activate the coop. With a right click, make sure you are pointing at the coop. Right click to insert the chickens. And as you see, there is growth stage. Now, it has three stages, growth stage, nesting stage, and gathering stage. This is the first stage. Next stage will look something like this, and this is the third variation of the coop. As you can see, the chickens are nesting. And the last stage is the gathering stage. Here, when something is produced, you are able to pull it out. All you have to do with the chicken is place them. So let me pull up a chicken for a pet. You just place with the right click like you would do anything else to uh, gather them. And I just grab my knife. Doesn't matter what knife. You harvest them like you would anything else. And of course it gives you the same materials as the chickens in the world. It only takes a little time for them to produce. It isn't very long. That's how the coops function. Easy, simple, a fast setup. And work. If you're playing a game style of farming or anything, they just add a little touch to it. The two things that I would like to see with this mod would probably be more variations on the coop, even though this one right here is my favorite one. Can't go wrong with a little goth look, but everybody has their own tastes. So, these fit pretty well into a, a lot of builds and to have the ability to gather meat, eggs, and feathers like we all do is handy. So that is the first mod, Chicken Coops, on Oak Raven Forest Collection. Now we're going to head over to the next mod on the list, which is the beehives. The beehives also have three variations. Pretty simple variations. You need a queen bee to activate the hives, and in the world there are these logs you can gather from, and you will get queen bee. And like the chick in the other mod, you hold it and you place it with a right click and the bees process is first a gathering it will tell you when it's ready like the other and you will get honeycomb honeycomb is used to make Honey jars, honey bread, honey pumpkin bread, and drink honey beer. 
and I will show you what each one does. Drink honey beer, stamina regen plus 15%, and its duration is 2 minutes. Honey pumpkin pie and honey bread. The pie is 50 food, 25 health, and 20 stamina. And the bread is 25 food, health, and stamina. You can also eat the honeycomb. It doesn't give very much, but it's a quick fix if you need something fast. And of course, production is a short time. The pie and bread you will make will be done in a cooking fire. You need Master Chef and cornbread recipe. Master Chef and pumpkin pie recipe. That is Beehive Mod from Oak Raven Forest Collection. I'll put this back in here. In the next mod that we will be looking at, it is custom work stations. Here I have set up the workstations to give you an idea of how different they are. The first one we're going to be looking at is this mixer. And unlike the regular mixer in vanilla, this mixer does two things. It is for cement and crushed sand. Basically to speed up the production to get your mix done and produced fast. So it's a great helper. The next thing will be the forge. This is the vanilla forge. You can see you have all of the resources, building, ammo, weapons, tools and traps. And over here at the forge from the mod, it has so many of what is in the normal forge from vanilla. This is if you want a different look of your forge room build or where you're going to be doing a lot of your crafting forge work and everything. This is a great item to have. It has a lot of personality and I like it. Next we have a chemistry bench. Here's your normal chemistry bench. And this is the chemistry bench from the mod. As you can see, everything is pretty much the same. And everything that does work on burning wood also works on burning coal and it is a longer burn and a slower burn. And here we have Oak Raven Power Workbench and in this workbench as you can see solar power array, power cell, solar cell, two types of generator, and two types of bank. This goes into our next mod, and that is over here. I have set up the generators. Each one has its own visual function. Let's turn that on. on the battery and the light that it's connected to that I set up. Let's turn on this battery generator I 
as you can see, they work the same as a regular generator, a regular battery. They just have different look. Over here is the turret solar power array. We turn that on. It's a pretty cool gadget and it's a direct link to whatever you want to power. When you turn it off, it closes up. The next one is this large guy right here. Also has pretty much the same function, just in a larger scale. and is also a direct link to whatever it is you want to power. Now, these are the items that are in power things. The custom workbenches are in the custom workstations mod. Two separate mods, but they work perfectly together. In the Oak Raven Forest Collection work together. And the creator of this collection has made it so you can mix and match mods, which I find very helpful. The next one we're going to be looking at is the sign cupboard for writable storage. These are all the storage boxes that come within this mod. And yes, they are all writable. Here we have a sh crested shield. Swords. And then all your variations of containers and your bookcases. And I can show you right here on how to get all of these going. You'll hold down R and go into shapes like you would a lot of other things and there you have all your variations. Wooden chest, wooden chest two, metal box, wooden box, display case one, book cabinet, wall book case, display case two, metal chest, and wooden crate. When you place them, you'll see it has one of the models that I've worked on this name right in front. And every chest and crate have the same amount of storage. So easy, fun way to decorate pretty much any type of room. And that is the sign cupboards for writable storage. Next, we have torches and lights. And then over here, is the mod. There is a regular torch and each of these torches work on wood or coal. Just go into them. As you can see, there is a fuel area. Turn it on. And lights up pretty well. And each one of these consume the same fuel. Just have a different type of flicker. Here's the big standing 
appraiser. Gold cone appraiser. Stone column appraiser. Standing appraiser. They light up an area really, really well. And that is the torches and lights mod. The next mod that we will be looking at is cooking station mod. And here we have the various cooking stations. Blender and mixers and mincer. In this mod, a mincer, of course, minces meat, dusts bones for bone mill, and minces rotted flesh. And it is tabletop, so you can set it just about on any counter. Here, is the Oak Raven Cooker. Green Blender. The blenders make the different types of smoothies. Canned drink. Also does a corn meal, which you'll use oak seeds and water to produce. The tools you need for them to function is the smoothie blade and the chopper blade. Here is the Oak Raven pot stove. As you can see, it has pretty much all the same function and this uses your normal cooking pot, cooking grill, and beaker, as well as the cooker, uses the same tools. And the mixer is where you make acorn dough. You'll use honey, acorn meal, and eggs to make the dough. The tool this uses is a mixer attachment. You can use wood and coal to make them function like anything else that burns a resource. For acorn bread, you get 30 food, 20 health, minus 15 water, and 15 max stamina bonus. For acorn dough, you get 20 food, 10 health, minus five water, and no stamina bonus. So all in all, the dough is best used in just your cooking. With the drinks, four berry smoothie, 25 water, 20% 20 stamina regen, 10 cold resist on a three minute duration, red dream smoothie, 24 water, 15% stamina regen, and 20% cure dysentery. Comfy red worm smoothie, 25 water, 20% stamina regen, 10 cold resist, 3 minute duration. Green hill smoothie is the same, and lumpy flesh can is the same. Acorn meal, you get 2 food, 1 health, minus 3 water, no stam buff. So that's also best for cooking. And that is the cooking stations mod. The next mod that we'll be looking at, this is another one of the mods, 
with in the collection hydroponic underground farming you have your hydroponic table where you will create your hydroponic seeds for your underground farming compost hydroponic feed hydroponic farm plots and this mod also consists of a few other things fireflies jars are a light source let me bring down the lighting so you can see that And there are stumps. These stumps you chop down to get the items from it. The item you get is lion mushroom. Lion mushroom gives you 5 food, 5 health, no stamp bonus, and 2% cure infection. And are just used. Now, we'll go down to the garden. The plants grow fast, and then you have more types of plants, not just your normal pumpkin, potatoes, corn, and stuff like that, but you have tomatoes, peppers, pineapple, turnips, eggplant, strawberries, jalapenos, and the rest of your normal plants. Each plot is its own unit. The unit comes with the light for a fast growth. Awesome way to do your gardening if you don't want to garden above ground. Works really well and is pretty fast. So that is hydroponic underground farming. The next mod that we're going to look at, water wells and stand pipes. Here you have four variations on your water well, wood, water well, stone water well, rustic water well, which is my favorite, and the old water well, come with little frogs and little lizard type creatures, and over here the standpipe, your normal run of the mill standpipe with faucet, a stone, and a marble to fill up your jars like you would anywhere else. So come over here, right click, and it fills your jar. Standpipes work the same. Also in this mod, three working sinks we have here. Marble sink, slate sink, tin sink for filling up jars with each of them. Right click and you're full. Arrows and stand pipe mod. The next mod that we're going to be looking at, drawbridges and walkways, are the next mod that we're looking at. As you can see, there's many variations of them, and the thing about these, they can be placed just about anywhere, and I'll give you a look on how they open. Just like anything, 
you right click to place and each one opens the same way and they open by four squares so you have your platform what you're placing and then four extra squares that extend out they can be linked up to each other to make a longer, longer walkway, a longer bridge for over just about anything and you have different styles that you can work with. Pretty simple but very useful and that is the drawbridges walkways. All mods from Oak Raven Forest Collection. They're all separate mods and all can be used with each other. I myself have had no conflict of these mods whatsoever. So if you're interested in modding your game, give these mods a try. Pretty sure you won't be disappointed. They give little more to the game if you're ready to switch it up a bit. There are three other mods in the collection that I did not show you today so go ahead and give those a look too. And a big thank you to the mod creators Oak Raven and Aramis for letting me do this little segment on their creations. If you enjoyed this video smash that like button share subscribe and part of the wicked family so you don't miss on any other upcoming content bye for now